All right. Well, um, how are you? Good. How are you? I am wonderful. I just wanted to start off by saying thanks for letting me watch. Um, I loved how you started with a little bit of a review and you pulled the kids in and they gave you the examples. The little girl that was she said, well, antonym and synonym are opposites. <laughs> that was so sweet. She was so cute. Um, and then I liked that you used the book for your little direct instruction. I know not all of that was on the recording, but I, I watched a little of that. And then I really liked the game at the end. That was, I almost, I was paying very close attention so I could figure out how to play that too. That was really, really cool. Um, and this was a group of second graders, you said, that are at quite a higher level than their grade, right? Like you said, sixth grade? They're, on, they're in second grade, and they're on a sixth grade reading level, but they're called Lunch Bunch because they're not receiving really gifted services, but they meet with um, our, intervention, or our literacy coach a couple times a month um, for lunch, and they have like fun activities that they do. And so this was one way um, that... I could also be a part of that. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Well, I thought it went really well. I know you had some, some things obviously always go better than others, but what are some things that you thought went well during the lesson? I think that they were pretty engaged. Um, they paid great attention during the book and they seemed to really try to grasp the game, even though it was kind of difficult for them. I know the content was a lot to take in, um, but they were very enthusiastic and I really appreciated that. Um, they participated well, um, and they were really, I guess, excited about the material. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And I think I saw the same thing as you. They, they, I, I almost had to refresh my memory about the difference between homophones and homographs and homonyms. And they really seemed to get the material. And I do agree that the game was it, it was a lot, but you could tell that they were, they were trying and they, they knew what they were, mm -hmm. what they were trying to get. Um, so my next question would, for you is, is there a, a part that you would go back and change if you had to do it again? I think I would probably put more emphasis on one or the other, um, so that they had more practice with, um, one specific area because I feel like for to introduce the game so early was kind of premature and it didn't really give them enough practice with the skill of knowing how to identify one or the other and then I before I asked them to put it all together excuse me and really demonstrate that in a game format and it was kind of just too fast paced so I think if I had more time um, and it's even really something I could reteach and go back through and use as like a pre and a post example um, I would go back through and really focus on each one at a time and then try to incorporate it all together. Yeah, I, and I agree. I think I wrote, I wrote some of notes on that. Yeah. Um, and I, sometimes I think it's my kindergarten brain thinking like I, I try to like stretch things apart a little bit, but if you just like the, if, and I guess I don't know how many times you meet with them or how long you had, but if you could almost break it into three and then right. do like just introduce what they are and kind of review them. And then the second time could be introducing the game and maybe playing it with the cards facing up. I know I saw like at the end, you kind of had them flip up so they could see everybody's. I think that would be a great way to introduce it. And then just I think with more practice, they would totally get it because you could tell that they were, they knew what they were looking for. It was just, it was a lot of material and yeah. So yeah, I, great. I appreciate that feedback. Yeah, no, I thought it was, it was really good. And they did seem, like you said, engaged and um, they were with you. It's not like they were um, not focused and things like that. So they did really, really well. Um, my next question for you is where do you see them using that? Uh, well, it's one of their standards. So I think ultimately it's something that they will eventually need. Um, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, and I think outside of that, um, knowing the difference when they're writing too is probably helpful. So I would say spelling and just knowing the difference in words. So being able to identify, okay, what spelling of 
the word bear do I need when I'm talking about an animal? Or just identifying the differences in some of the words I think can go a long way in helping them know that there are various ways to spell words. Sometimes they have different meanings. Sometimes, well, most of the time they have different meanings. So it kind of just depends, but I think ultimately in the long run, it will be helpful even beyond the for their requirements. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Writing was the first thing that came to my mind was that if they know that there's different spellings and different meanings for these words that sound the same, that they would definitely be able to use them um, in their writing. So I definitely agree with you there. Um, is there, are you going to be able to meet with them again or will you have any follow up with them? I won't, no, unfortunately. Uh, well, I didn't know since you said yeah. it was like the lunch group. Well, if you ever need anything else from me, just let me know and I can offer support or we can sit down and look at lessons or anything like that. I would like that. I like the idea. I think if I end up teaching it again, even if it's to another group, I'll go ahead and make those modifications. Yeah, I thought it was great. Well, thanks for meeting with me today. Thank you for your feedback. Yeah.